It seems like there are so many different watch brands on AliExpress these days, but one of the ones that has really risen to the top, you might say, is the brand San Martin. I've really admired the quality of the watches that they produce, but for me, I'm not a person who likes homage watches or clomage watches, whatever you want to call them, and so I've kind of stayed away from them. But recently, I picked up a watch that they've produced that is not a homage, it's an original design, and I've been able to spend a few months with this watch, and it's staying in my collection. I like it that much, so I'm excited to do the full review of this unique design, not a homage, San Martin Retro Diver. So let's jump right in. All right, here it is, the San Martin Original Design Retro Diver. I've had this watch for a number of months now, so you might see some scratches on it, but nothing too major, but do keep that in mind. It is not a new watch. Let's jump into the specs and features of this piece. The model number is there on the screen. The movement that is being used is that well-known Seiko NH35 the crystal here is a sapphire crystal with AR coating. Case material is stainless steel. Case diameter is 40.4 millimeters. Case thickness came in to be 13.3 millimeters. Lug to lug distance is 43.1, and the lug width is 20 millimeters. Band material here is also stainless steel. Water resistance, 200 meters. The weight with all of the links that they provide is 166 grams, and the MSRP price on this watch is 258 US dollars from the San Martin AliExpress store. But you can always find some discount codes and get a little bit of a discount on that. And uh, please check the links below if you're interested in this watch. So, man, I am impressed with this piece. I do have to say that I was kind of surprised by the quality of this watch for the price. I really like that it is an original design because, again, I am not the biggest fan of homage watches. I really feel that a lot of them are just copies uh, with different branding on it. And so I really prefer the term clomage. I kind of stay away from those as much as I can. But I think San Martin does a great job with their watches. And so I'm so happy that they've created a unique design watch here and have been putting out some other unique designs as well. I found this watch to be comfortable on this bracelet that is provided with the watch and also the strap that comes with it, which we'll look at in a moment. Uh, but it's not perfect. No watch is perfect. Um, and this one has some issues, just minor things that I'll mention as we go throughout this review today. The case shape is a good place to start on this watch because it is very unique. You see that there are no real lugs here. Uh, it is a unique case design. Uh, I feel it kind of has to know uh, shape vibes, but it's kind of in a more compact form you might say it's kind of squished down but if there is an actual name for this case shape somebody let me know down in the comments below uh, i like it though uh, the dimensions i think are great um, but the one issue that i've found with it because it is so compact uh, and everything is kind of you know all together it kind of has like a, a puck feeling to it kind of like a slab and so i feel it is a little top heavy on the wrist because of that because everything is kind of just in one place sitting like a slab on your wrist so i did notice that a little bit but uh, nothing too concerning i think the finishing on this watch is absolutely superb for the price point you get some polishing on the sides of the case uh, on both sides uh, the crown has some polishing there as well and then on the top is uh, this brushing it's kind of a concentric brushing as you can see and then that brushing uh, flows down through the bracelet which we'll look at in a little bit but the finishing on this watch i was really impressed with the case back is a screwed down case back nicely embossed with this shark logo 
and you get some information there engraved on the back as well but really impressed with the finishing of this piece uh, the crown here is a screw down crown it is signed with that same shark logo as you can see i measured it in to be about 6.4 millimeters i think it looks good and proportional to the case maybe it could be a little bit bigger i wouldn't mind it being a little bit bigger but I did not find it hard to use or unscrew or set the time. Um, it does have a little wobble to it. Nothing too, too bad, I would say, but a little bit of wobble there, as you can see. But other than that, it functions well and have had no real issues with it. The bezel on this piece is a ceramic insert. One of the things I like in particular is the, the the size of this bezel bezel it's so thick and the grip texture with that coin edge uh, is very very good and you have no problem gripping this watch and the action is really nice 120 click unidirectional bezel works great feels great sounds great and the ceramic insert looks great as well. The dial on this watch, you might say, is reminiscent of some Seikos that are out there. You might be right about that. Uh, I think it looks great. I think these indices are super large and legible. I think that is perfect for a dive style watch. Large squares, large rectangles. It all looks really good. You get a good size date window as well over at the three o'clock position. It's got a black date wheel and that is fairly legible in its own respect as well with the white numeral. Uh, large visible hands, uh, that hour hand, minute hand, and the second hand all uh, look great and they, they reach out to a good point, I think, each one. And something that I also noticed is that the second hand has a cap on it in the center and that is a nice touch as well and that is finished nicely also uh, the logo here san martin at the top is applied i'm not sure how i feel about the logo design itself i'm kind of torn between it i think it doesn't look too bad but i'm also not the biggest fan of it. I don't know. I kind of go both ways on the logo design itself, but I'm, I'm happy there is a logo here. I don't like the sterile dial look personally, um, but I'm still not sure how I feel about the design itself. Then you just have um, some simple text, automatic and 200 meters down below uh, the handset right there. Uh, the, the dial color I feel is more of a matte black finish. There's no real shine, uh, no sunburst or anything like that. Just has a matte feel to it. But overall, I think the dial on this watch is very diver-like. So it fits with the retro diver feel that is going on here. There is good loom on this watch also. The bezel is not loomed. There is a loomed pip. Uh, they're using C3 Super Luminova. So I'm going to shut the lights off and we'll check the loom right now. All right, quick loom shot, charged it up briefly with my UV flashlight, shining really nicely. Good and healthy application of the C3 Super Luminova. I am happy with the loom on this watch. The bracelet for many brands seems to be a second thought. Seiko, I'm talking to you. Uh, but here on this San Martin, this bracelet is absolutely amazing. I love it and I think it fits the retro look and design that they're going for absolutely perfectly. It has this really nice satin brushing on these links and polishing on the sides of the links. You get screw pins for the links, which is a great touch. Good number of micro adjusts on the clasp. This clasp is milled as well simple fold over push button clasp signed with San Martin but man I am really impressed with this bracelet I love it a lot I think they did a great job with it and if you like it as well uh, they do sell it separately for I think $65 and I think it is that good that you should also purchase it for some other watches if you really like it 
Uh, I'm really impressed with the bracelet. One thing I do wish they did with it is put quick release spring bars in there. I think that would have been better than the standard option, uh, but you just get the standard spring bars there. They also do have this strap that you can buy with it. It's an FKM rubber strap, really high quality, really well done. The buckle on this is very nice as well and signed, so I would recommend this waffle style strap FKM rubber as well from San Martin. So check that out also. All right, so this is the San Martin original design retro diver. Let me jump back in front of the camera and share some final thoughts about this piece. Like I said, I really like this San Martin original design retro diver. I like it so much that it's actually staying in my collection. So I'm happy to have this piece. And I'm glad that San Martin has made an original design like this. And as time has gone on since they released this, they're also producing more original design watches, which I think is great. And I think more AliExpress brands should follow that example and make some original design pieces and not just keep copying the popular watches from established brands that are out there. If you agree with that, let me know down in the comments, or if you disagree, let me know as well. Although this watch is a little top heavy because of the compact dimensions overall, I think this is a great piece, a great value for money. The finishing on this for a $250 watch is superb. That bracelet is absolutely amazing. And again, I think this is gonna be staying in my collection for quite some time. If you're interested in this piece, all the links are in the description below where you can purchase this watch. And please let me know what you think about this particular original design San Martin. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Share your opinions and your comments down below. And also share your thoughts about AliExpress. And if you think more brands should make more original design pieces and not just keep copying popular watches that are out there on the market today. Share your thoughts about that below as well. If you like this video, please give it a like. That really helps out. We really appreciate it and thank you very much for that. That's it for today's video here on the Town Watch. Thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time.